Hope is a 1948 film directed by Alfred Hitchcock, making this his first color picture, and it begins with the scene of a murder. Brandon and Philip has this idea that they are superior to the person that they're murdering, which is their fellow colleague. They assume him to be inferior and therefore kill him just to prove a theory of the superiority and inferiority of human beings. I think it's very disturbing in my mind knowing that if I have a friend or a fellow colleague at my school would consider me inferior and would plot to murder me. Brandon is really just like cool on his heels, thinks that he's gotten away with it and he even calls it several times throughout the movie the perfect murder. Philip, on the other hand is a little bit more nervous on the other side because he was the actual one that had the rope in his hand strangling him watching the very last breath of David coming out. Brandon however has set up a party because Philip was to be going away for the weekend and their thoughts of after they killed David was to put him in the car and let him sink to the bottom of the river which for some reason putting dead bodies in the bottom of a river always floats back up or someone finds it so I never understood why would you put them in the ocean or in the river they, they will always get found. They put this dead body inside of a trunk, this cedar chest and decided that the cedar chest that's in the living room to put a tablecloth over it and serve food on top of it. The guest that Brandon invites over is his fiance, his dad and many of his um, friends. Which is really weird because he wants to show that he just did the most perfect murder that even his family and friends would not even guess that he's dead. Tensions does rise as when the party does progress that the family and friends begins questioning where is David and don't know, have any idea what happened to him. But Philip, his, he gets nervous by the minute every time when they question and ask, have you seen David? Where is David? He said he was going to be here. He called us and told us he was going to be at this party. James Stewart plays as the former professor Rupert in their previous classes has given them a lecture or talks about the inferior and the superior of human beings and that murder is not wrong but it also should be considered a form of art. This is where they get their sense that what they've done is just right and they've created the perfect art, the perfect murder. As the party progresses the talk of murder arises again and it really does um, play back and forth. Watching Brandon starts getting really excited and really delighted as he talks about how a perfect murder can be taking place, how it could be done. Rupert starts to notice and there's something very odd about the conversation as it progresses in the party. A little too overwhelming for the notion, the thought of how a murder should be taking place. His suspicions does arise and they, he starts noticing that things are not right when David is still has not came to the party as described by his fiance, his family, and his father. This is, in my opinion, one of his best works. A lot of people may differ from what I say, but I really believe this is one of his top movies only because I enjoy watching movies as a play instead of going to a theater to watch a play, which this movie is basically based on, I get to watch it on the telly. If you have seen this movie and you want to let me know, put it in the comments below. I would greatly appreciate it. You can subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you have enjoyed this. If you haven't enjoyed this, and if you do, give me a thumbs down. Please let me know why you give me a thumbs down. I, I would appreciate that. Any criticism at this moment, I would greatly appreciate. And hopefully I will see you around to the next movie review. Until then, cheers.